Hello friends and happy Easter week. It's hard to believe that we are only a week away from Easter. So let's go ahead and look at our passage for this week. So we are still in the book of Matthew. We are going to be reading from Matthew 26 verses 69 through 75. Now Peter was sitting out in the courtyard and a servant girl came to him and said, you also were with Jesus of Galilee, she said. But he denied it before them all. I don't know what you're talking about, he said. Then he went out to the gateway and where another servant girl saw him and said to the people there, this fellow was with Jesus of Nazareth. He denied it again with an oath. I don't know the man. After a little while, those standing there went up to Peter and said, surely you are one of them. Your accent gives you away. Then he began to call, him, call down curses and swore to them, I don't know the man. Immediately a rooster crowed. Then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken. Before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. Now most of you guys are probably familiar with this passage. This is why Jesus is on trial. And Peter's waiting outside, waiting to see what will happen. How do you think Peter felt when he realized that what Jesus said at the Last Supper came true? The end says he went outside and wept bitterly. Has there ever been a time when you have done something and you, you know, after a little bit you realized what you did wrong and you just felt awful? That's how Peter's feeling right now. But the thing I want you guys to remember is that even though this happened, even though Peter disowned Jesus by saying he did not know him, Jesus still loved Peter. Jesus still had compassion for Peter and Jesus still had grace for Peter. That's what I want you guys to focus on this week. As we go up till Easter, let's remember about the sacrifice that Jesus, you know, by laying down his life, what sacrifice Jesus made for us because Jesus loves us, because Jesus has compassion for us, and because Jesus has grace for us. He forgives us of our sins. And even though Peter disowned Jesus, denied Jesus, Jesus still accepts Peter and Jesus still accepts us even when we sin, even when we do wrong. I want you guys to remember that this week and to be thinking about this that this week as we lead up to Easter. Think about ways that maybe we still disown Jesus. Maybe it's by not praying every day. Maybe we don't feel good about that. We can change that. And even, you know, if we forget to say that midnight prayer or we forget to, you know, pray for a meal, before you know if we're out with friends or anything like that Jesus still loves us even in those mistakes that we make where we're not always acknowledging him when we're not always looking to him he still loves us he still accepts us and he forgives us this week I have an activity for you uh, for Easter you guys will be getting Easter baskets from each of your East Side teachers so be on the lookout I'm not sure when all of them are coming to your house but that is something that you guys can look forward to this week and in your Easter basket along with some candy you guys will be finding our Easter activity for this year you guys will be getting a plant saucer that looks like this as well as a packet of dirt and some grass seed we are going to be making resurrection gardens this year and so I want you guys to go ahead and fill your dirt and fill your saucer with the dirt and then plant the seeds in. Ryan will actually will have some pictures up that you guys can see some examples. I want you guys to be as creative with this as possible. So I gave you some in the material, but you guys are going to have to go out, go, you know, get some sticks, get some rocks to make the three crosses, get a nice big stone for the tomb. Ultimately, we want this to kind of be the scene of after Jesus' resurrection, after Jesus, you know, defeats death. You have the opening, you have the three crosses, and as the weeks go by, you guys can watch your grass grow and just remember that we ourselves are still growing in Christ. If you guys want to share your pictures with me, uh, that would be great. You guys can send them to the Facebook page. You can send them to my email. I would love to see the things that you guys come up with. And for the grass, yep, just remember to sprinkle it out, spread it out, and put it in a place where there's a good amount of sunlight so it can grow. And when you probably want to water it about once a day, you don't want to water it too much, just a little sprinkle here and there to help it grow. I can't wait to see what you guys create. I will see you guys later. Happy Easter.